now I need to do some modification with these edges so I can have more space at these uh, borders of this face so let's double click this middle edge and let's use chamfer to create another edge out of it and I need only one edge but let me increase the space between them maybe like this and press ok now let me keep this selection use control and double click this outer edge and let me go to the left view so I can make them bigger using the scale scale them up like this fine now I need this edge oops this edge right here I need to go to front view press F of course you now got the uh, shortcuts and let me push it forward now I need to select this other edge press control double click and because we made few modifications maybe split it so we need to double click until we get it and now let me go to uh, oops let me go to the vertex mode while pressing control so I can keep my selection I need to make them even so I go to front view again and use the scale tool to scale them on the X axis let me do it again so they can create a larger space or a frame around the main shape fine so now we got these fins inside this shape okay let me make sure everything is fine okay let me get back to edge mode and scale this edge right here let me just scale it up not much okay fine so now I need to start modifying the uh, location of these vertices so they look like this look or they can give me this look this curvy look so I, I uh, make sure I'm in the left view press L get back to vertex mode and start modifying the location so here we need to keep this even and this goes down and then take this shape so maybe we can start from here and use the move tool to reshape it Maybe I need to reshape the whole column. Let me get back by using Ctrl Z several times. So let me push these down and then these. And we won't worry about back facing because we don't have a back face, in fact. And let me push this as well, like this. And finally, this group. So I can get this curvy look. Fine. What else? We need to push these to take this shape. So now we need to create the curve. So let me check here what we got. This one is quite pushed inside and then this takes this shape. So I take this last fin and I push it inside and 
and then this will be reversed so here this one is small then going wide so this goes the same direction Maybe I need to take this quite inside. you wish you can skip the spot if you're good at uh, vertices modeling if you want to go with me step by step that would be fine for you uh, actually I um, I don't like this kind of tutorials that skips working on uh, small details I don't recommend it Sometimes you need to learn with someone from the beginning until the end. So now we got a similar shape of this part. It goes like this and then this goes this way. So everything should follow. This one should go this way. We get back and this frame should go with it the second frame we created so I need to push these down this too and don't worry because we're working on the left view so don't worry about uh, moving vertices incorrectly because we already are working on 2D we're moving only on X and Y axis Z is not affected in this uh, in the left view And here we have these two. Oops, I accidentally took these three with me. I, I don't need them. I need only these. And here I need this to be look like this. This one, I think I'll leave it. And the last one, it should give me this shape same thing will go with this outer uh, edge but a bit less curvy so let me do this to give it a curvy look And then for the outer two edges, they will have the same shape, except it won't go curvy. It will go straight. So let, let's do it. Let's go down. Maybe, maybe we took this for 
and I need this to be up here and starting from here things will go a bit straight way it will take the same direction but straight with a uh, something like 80% angle maybe we need to take these together these of course you got the idea and this and this follow so now we need to make this as close as we can don't worry about any funny look because we're gonna take this to look like this we almost close to the shape we want to have let me check okay so here maybe we get this down and for this side there is no curving but we, we will learn how to make this right here So do your, your adjustments based on your views. Okay. So that's the basic shape. If we press F3, we will find it's quite going with this line. But of course we can adjust it, not now, maybe later. Press F3 again so you can see. And we need to create uh, this, this thing right here, between the third and fourth fins. So one, two, three, four, five, six. So it will be here in this area. So we need to create cuts and then start drawing the shape and just moving vertices and same thing will be here between the fourth and fifth uh, fin so we can do this in the next tutorial